What's good guys? It's Ron's Rise and before this video starts I wanted to let you guys know that your boy got sponsored again. So the first uh, sponsor was the floor mats here that as you can see I still have in and I still use from Spartan Auto Tech. So it's not just you know somebody is giving me something and I'm just like promoting them like if I'm going to use it I'm going to use it I'm going to put it in here and and see if you guys might like it as well and share it. Same thing here. So you guys know that like I'm legally blind. I'm legally blind. So I do have prescription eyeglasses and uh, a company called Firmu has sent me some prescription eyeglasses which is pretty dope. And what it is is they it's just an online store and you don't have to deal with any representatives or nothing like that. You can just do everything online. Pick your frames, uh, pick the colors, pick the type of lenses you want you have to put in your prescription so you get an eye exam so i put it in and and did my did my measurements and they gave me my frames and the prescription so i just want to uh show you guys these real quick show you what's inside and then try them on and see if you like them and they're kind of nerdy to me but it's cool because they're cheap you see on the the slogan is styles update every day no more than $39 so that's US dollars I'm not sure what it translates to in another currency um, but yeah so let's try these on so this comes with a cool little sleeve uh, I didn't pick the sleeve or the case but as you can see the case is looking like a globe I haven't even tried these on yet because I wanted to wait to experience this with you guys so it's authentic reaction you know you know how I like to do it so I like to just turn on the camera and press record We'll try this one-handed thing again. And these are my glasses. So as you can see, like I said, I haven't even taken them out yet. Um, how well can you guys see those? So I'm going to try them on and let you guys see them and see what you think. Now before I try them on, you can obviously see that the lenses are a little dirty, so I need to clean them. Luckily, they gave me a little microfiber fiber, um, towelette to wipe the glasses with too, so that's pretty dope. So I'm gonna clean these first before I put them on because yeah. Oh, and they have their slogan and everything on here with the email. All right, cool. I look pretty dope, right? Okay, probably not, but the glasses look dope. Um, I pick, like I said, I picked these frames out myself, picked out um, the type of lenses. They have tons of different lens types, tons of different frames, really affordable at that, and prescription eye lenses and you can get all this stuff at a discount um i do have the links below in the description so if you want to check these out like i said if you guys do need glasses this is a way to go just as far as saving some money but getting stylish frames um like i said my my glasses i really need i'm supposed to use them all the time a lot of times i do have to use them mandatory at night or when i'm driving i do even have on my license that says corrective lenses because you know my vision is that bad and i don't wear contacts just because i hate poking in my eye and stuff so as many glasses as i can get i'm going to get my hands on them so what I, like i said i just this is something that i hold dear to me because i use every day i've been doing glasses and wearing glasses since i was 15. so i definitely wanted to share it with you guys just show you that you know, Firmu was nice enough to send me these, which is really dope because I don't consider myself a big YouTuber yet. So the fact that they did send this is really cool. And it's even better that I can share it with you guys. And maybe you were looking for a deal to save some money on your glasses. Um, like me, I always try to save money somewhere. So now I have some dope frames and I'm pretty happy. So I'll, like I said, I'll drop the links below. I want to thank Firmu again. Um, this is pretty cool and hopefully you guys will definitely see these and more videos to come but Hopefully you do like them and hopefully I don't look like too much of a nerd Nerds are cool, right? It's 2018. Nerds, nerds, nerds have always been cool. Always <laughs> Back to the video guys. What's good guys? This is Ron's Rides. I am back here at Alfa Romeo Maserati of Daytona Beach and as you can see I'm by the Alfa Romeo Stelvios Reason why, well you probably saw the title of this video, is Alfa Romeo planning on building a larger plug-in hybrid Stelvio, or SUV shall I say, because it won't be called the Stelvio if this is a new model. So I wanted to come out here in front of these cars so you can kind of see what these look like if you're not familiar with them already. So what we're hearing is that 
Alfa Romeo may be doing a mid-sized crossover or a more stretched version of the Stelvio's platform, which is the Grigio platform, um, to do a bigger SUV. And they're talking about probably doing a hybrid form in that SUV format. So with that, Roberto, which is the chief technical officer, had this quote to say. He said, we have to marry the new car with the right level of electrification. Plug-in hybrid could be the problem for the DNA of Alpha at this point of view. But for instance, a 48 volt mid hybrid solution is something that we can do without losing anything. If they do do this, they're talking about the platform being an extra 440 pounds or 200 kilograms heavier. Roberto also said, I'm quite happy about the result we have obtained coupling a four cylinder with the 48 volt e-turbo. I think next time we can also use it in production. With a two liter turbo engine, you can achieve around 350 to 400 bhp. We are driving on a simulator, a car like that. We are working on it. And with the result, it's not so bad. So what do you think about them building a hybrid crossover, let alone a bigger model of the Stelvio? Um, they're saying that if it does go into market, it will compete against the Porsche Cayenne, BMW X5, um, and the Mercedes GLE. Do you think this is a smart move from Alpha? I kind of want to know what you guys think. We are inside of the Stelvio. I kind of just wanted to step inside of one too, just to get the, the visuals of it as well. But what do you guys think on something like that? You know, for a plug-in hybrid Stelvio, do you think it's good? Do you think it's bad? I definitely want to hear you guys in the comments. This is rumors right now. I've seen a couple of articles on this, so I just kind of want to get your take on it. Let's step outside of the car. And we'll get another spin around. Love the Stelvio. We do have the Stelvio Quadrofolio coming to the States this year. So now with that said, is there room for another um, Alfa Romeo SUV? Is there room for a larger hybrid Alfa Romeo SUV? Who knows? But I definitely want to hear those comments and see what you guys think. Definitely like the video as well, as always, to get it up in the rankings so more people can see this news. This was an Alfa Romeo roundup. Every time I do news on Alfa Romeo, it's going to be an Alfa Romeo roundup so you guys know that we're talking about the brand. So hopefully you guys liked the roundup for today. Also, if you did, subscribe to the channel. I would love to see you guys again. And with that said, you guys take care. Be blessed. Have a wonderful day. We'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.